Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to check if the file exists or does not exist in blob storage and finally send an email in Azure Data Factory. So you will be learning multiple things here. You will learn the get metadata activity. You will learn if condition. You will learn web activity and you will learn logic app. So we'll learn tons of things here. And this scenario is just a basic scenario that can be accommodated. Maybe tons of other requirements you, know, you have depending on this type of scenarios. So now let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, in the blob storage, I have a, a container and that container is called the input container. So right there, that's my input container. As of now, there is no file. So let me upload a file for which we will be checking if that does exist or does not exist. So in my case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check a customer file. So if the customer file does exist or does not exist, depending upon that one, I will send an email or, uh, you know, if the file exists, still we send an email. If the file does not exist, still we'll send an email. So we we think of a scenario where your pipeline is scheduled to run at every hour, check the file and send an email, depending upon um you know availability if it does exist or does not exist okay so let's go ahead and uh, you know, create a pipeline and then we'll go from there click uh, on the azure data factory in my case uh, tech browser id uh, adf is my data factory click open now go to the pipeline here in the, in the pipeline uh, first of all we need to have a new pipeline and uh, we are going to use the uh, get metadata activity. So this activity is going to be used uh, to check the file. Go to data set here, click on new, and uh, then we use uh, Azure Blob Storage. That's where our file exists. Um, so we are going to be say, okay, the limited text file, that's fine. And now it's going to ask you, hey, create your link service. So click on new, provide a subscription, and then provide the, uh, your storage account. Uh, create, so we are using uh, Azure Blob Storage 3. Now we have to navigate to the file. So go to the input container and to the file name. So we are all good here. Yes, the file have a header. We are not really concerned about that part anymore. Okay, we are not also concerned about import schema and the mapping and all that. So here, what we are gonna do, we are gonna go to the field list and hit the new and click right there and select exist. So our goal is uh, by using this activity, we need to know uh, if the file does exist or does not exist uh, or does exist um, so once uh, we have that now we are going to check uh, uh, and use that uh, value so go to the if condition and then uh, we are going to connect our uh, get metadata to the if condition and uh, click on if condition here go to the activities and uh, then we are going to go to expression and we are going to say add dynamic content now here i'm going to select my get metadata that's my activity right there okay and in the output uh, i'm going to check the data exists so this uh, property is going to return me true or false uh, depending upon the value uh, file, depending upon the file existing in the folder so if the file does exist uh, this part will be equal to true and uh, if the file does not exist uh, this is going to be false okay so this uh, both conditions uh, can be used in the if else and we we can make the decision here so let me go back here and uh, now we have uh, depending upon the value if it is true we can do something depending upon the value if the value is false we can do something uh, so click on true and uh, what we would like to do i'm going to bring uh, a web activity okay so maybe uh, before uh, you do the web activity, maybe you load the file, you know, bring a copy activity, load the file, and then use the web activity. So in my case, I'm going to go straight forward to the web. And I can name this guy saying file exist. Okay. Now, uh, go to the false, and I'm going to use another web activity here, and uh, I'm going to name this one file does not exist. Okay, so what I need to do here, I need to send an email. So I have to configure the logic apps and then use it here in the web activity. So let's go back to the our uh, portal here. Let me close this guy. And uh, right there we have logic apps. I'm going to create the logic app quickly. So add, select your subscription and then resource group, consumption, name of the logic apps, TBIT. So yes, uh, North America, no, East US is fine. Create, let's create it. Go to resource, and here we are going to create a blank logic app. 
so now first of all uh, it is going to accept a request okay so i'm typing a request here and uh, we are going to give http request so i'm going to click on a request when an http request is received and that we are going to pass through the azure data factory and here is the payload that we would like to use so i'm going to go ahead and create a sample payload in my case i can do tons of things i can use my pipeline name i can use data factory name and other parameters and also say file does exist or not so let's start with the i will say file exists that's the only thing i want to use it okay so i'm going to just use this part now, I, as I said that I can provide tons of values though, such as if I want to do like, oh, I, uh, pipeline name. Okay, so pipeline name and other information, whatever, maybe file name itself as well, okay? So I can provide that, My, but I am more concerned with this part, file exists or not. So you can, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one, just we can uh, control it. So we are good here hit done and you can see that it is in uh, the file exists it is going to be string and uh, the pipeline name is also going to be string so it is auto generated this part now what we are going to do we are going to math use select method click on the side and publish uh, sorry post right there next step is setting up the email click right there and in my case i'm going to use the gmail you can use the outlook there is no uh, really big difference uh, click on gmail say send in email so now which we are going to say armor email that's just i'm giving a name so hit okay and it's asking me hey you want to uh, you need to log into your account i'm going to go ahead and log into my account here and once i'm logged in it's uh, asking me do you allow it yes i do allow it and it's creating my profile right there so now it is asking hey what uh, you would like to select a subject body and that's all i need i don't need the attachment cc bcc you can have it if you want to now I have to build my email and here I'm going to say, hey, send me email on amir equal age at gmail.com uh, and in the subject, uh, you are going to say the status of customer file, okay, from uh, in blob storage, okay, and input blob storage. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now what I can do, I can write uh, all those uh, very beautiful emails here. Here, hi team. Here is the status for our customer file. So we can say file exists. And I can say, uh, you know, we can provide different value. Customer file does exist, does not exist, and all those kind of things, right? So we are going to click right here, see more. And here we are going to say, file exist so this part will, will be bringing from azure data factory click right there and this will be replaced every time whatever we want to write it we can write from the payload okay so file exist and uh, uh, you can also as i said that the pipeline name pipeline name so if we want to provide the pipeline in we can do that as well so you can bring tons of other information right and then i will say thank you and uh, if you have questions uh, something like that you whatever you want to write okay so this is all good and we are going to hit save and now we will go back actually before we go back what we are going to do here i'm going to paste this guy right so these are two values we will be using the payload now other part what we will be using here let me take go to the http request and this say uh, url is created so i'm going to copy this url go to the azure data factory and here we are in the pipeline so if uh, we get metadata is uh, if it's going to check if the file exists or not depending on that value of exist uh, is going to show us it around the true part or false part right so let's go to true and uh, send an email if the file does exist does exist right so here we are going to go to settings and the url we are going to paste the url in the api post and now we have to provide uh, this uh, body so in the body, what we are going to do, we are going to use the same body right there. Okay. So this is what we are going to use and then do some dynamic contents so just to paste right there. And let me make it a little big. So see right there where we can uh, provide any value. As we already know that we, in the if condition, we are running the part that if the file does exist. So I can simply hard code and say for customer file does exist. 
Okay, please proceed for loading or you know, uh, we'll check in or whatever you, your customers want to do. Okay, and in the pipeline name, what I can do here, I can provide the name itself. So I'm going to do at the rate and uh, then curly parentheses in the parentheses. I'm going to go right there and I'm going to go to the system variables and I can use the pipeline name. So I'm going to click right there in the middle and do pipeline name. So this is uh, going to be all good, right? So I'm going to copy this guy and uh, now hit OK. So this is ready. Now we go to the false part. So let's go to the if condition again, go to the false. And here in the web activity, what we are gonna do, we are gonna go to settings and uh, let me do post and build the body first. And then we will bring the URL, same URL. So right there, and I can say file does not exist, okay? So not a big difference here. Now the URL, I need it again, so I'm gonna copy and paste right there same URL right so but we are changing the value of that uh, payload saying customer file does exist or does not exist uh, in in the each of the if branch so this looks good now we are ready to test and uh, what I'm gonna do here uh, first of all our file does exist so let's go to the portal I'm gonna go to the portal here and then uh, first of all, we would like to see if the file does exist. So go to the our tech resource storage, go to the containers, and then in the container we have input, uh, and see right there the file customer.txt does exist. So we go to the Azure Data Factory and we are going to run the pipeline or debug the pipeline. Now let me show you in the get metadata. So you see right there is the once little executor. So get metadata, the output C, the file does exist. So, so this part uh, exists is equal to true. Now, in the if condition, this will, true part will execute. And inside that, what we have, we have a file exist uh, web activity. So if you remember that uh, inside that true, we have this uh, file exist uh, web activity that we have configured. And in the payload, we have told uh, the file does exist, uh, right? So now it is uh, going to send an email by using logic app. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, on the email I'm gonna refresh and uh, see right there status of a customer file in the input to blob storage so see right there it says hi team here's a status for, status for your customer file file exists status customer file does exist please proceed with your check-in and loading or whatever now I'm gonna go back here and now next part what we are gonna do we are going to delete the file so right there in the input delete and now we go to Azure Data Factory again, and this will, in this uh, scenario, we are going to debug again. So see right there, get metadata this time exists equal to false. So that means now if condition uh, is going to run the false part of it. Inside that, uh, if you guys remember that, there's a web activity that uh, send a message uh, says uh, the file does not exist, um, okay? So please, uh, I should have said, please uh, check something. I should have said, please, uh, check uh, with the uh, uh, vendor or source so i should have written something like that but anyways uh, that uh, i did not but that's okay i'm gonna i can rerun this file again so let's refresh and uh, check the status and you see that it says file does not exist so i can go ahead and rerun and just make you happy and uh, then we should see that how oh, file does not exist to connect to the vendor or the source and to try to get the file Let's check our email again. And now what we have there. See, a new email has arrived and please check with the vendor or source because the file does not exist. So you can, and there is also pipeline name of what we have right there, pipeline one. That's the name of our pipeline. So this is how you are going to check if the file exists by using get metadata activity. Then you're gonna make a decision depending on the value. If it is true, using if condition, or it is false, then you're gonna maybe run the copy activity, load the file, or you know send an email after that loading. And then on the false, you will simply send an email saying, hey, provide me the file. The file has not been 
provided up. So there are tons of opportunities there uh, to get the help uh, in case the file has not been uh, arrived. So thank you very much and I hope uh, you learned something out of it. I really appreciate uh, you spend time with me and uh, if you guys like my effort go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.